Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will solve question 1365 from lead code in JavaScript. So the question says you are given an array and for each element in the array, you need to find how many elements are smaller than the number. So in this case, you have 8 and you have 4 elements smaller than 8. So the answer is 4. In this case, you have 1. There is no element smaller than 1. So the answer is 0. In this case, 2. So there are only one element smaller than two, that is one. So the answer is one. Again, for two, the answer is one. For three, there are three elements smaller than one, three. So the answer is three. So there are multiple ways you can solve this question. One of the very simple ways is that if you sort the array, so let's take this array example, eight, one, two, two, and three. If you sort the array, then you will get one, two, two, 3, 8. The index of a number or the first index of a number in case of duplicates are the number of elements that are smaller than a given number. So the index of 1 is 0 that means there is no element that is smaller than 1. Index of this 2 is 1 so there are only 1 elements. Index of this 2 is 2 but the first index of 2 is still 1 so there are only 1 number that is smaller than 2 and for 3 you have 3 the index of 8 is 4, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So there are 4 elements smaller than 8. So all we need to do is sort the number and for each uh, sort the array and for each number return their first index. Now here's the trick. We need to preserve the initial in, initial array. We need to in, in, preserve the initial sequence so that we can output the elements in this format. So 4 corresponds to this number, 0 corresponds to 1 and so on. So if we sort the array, we will lose that position. So in this case, we will have to store the sorted array also. And we need to preserve the last array. So how we are going to do is, so once we will create a sorted array. Now we need to, we need to sort nums array in a way that the initial array is stored. So the sort method in JavaScript sorts the array in place and the initial array itself gets changed. So what we will do, we will spread the nums array four three, and then we will sort it. So what this is going to do, it, it is going to spread all the elements of the array inside these two brackets and since it denotes an array, we are we are going to get a whole new array here. We are not really changing anything in nums. So we will sort and since it is JavaScript, we need to provide a comparator. So a minus b which will take care of the ascending order sorting. Now if you remember from the earlier discussion, all we need to do is get the first index of all the elements in the sorted array to get our answer. So what we are going to do is return, we will map because our nums array because we need the same position, we need the same, um, same uh, placement of elements. So we will map over the sort uh, initial array and we'll loop over all the elements and we'll get the index of the first uh, index of the element in the array from the sorted array so i'm going to do sorted dot index of index of by default returns the first index of so, so we need to get the index of the num and this will give us this whole thing will give us a new array with this output so let's go ahead. So basically we are trying to preserve the positioning here and we are operating on the sorted array. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, looks like there's some error on this line. Sort, oh, I misspelled. Maybe you guys saw it earlier. So let's run this again. Okay, and once we submit, it, it got accepted so yeah this is one this one guys uh stay tuned and i'll see you around in the next one thanks